The AMD Ryzen 3 3300X and Ryzen 3 3100 CPUs will be hitting the retail shelves this month. Aiming to hit the sub $120 US PC gaming market, these two quad-core chips pack AMD's 7 nanometer Zen 2 cores and will definitely offer a huge performance boost over existing quad-core parts and recent leaks suggest that it might be pretty decent overclocker too. Last week, we got to see a few leaked benchmarks of the two processors showcasing some really good performance numbers compared to Intel 10th generation Core i3 lineup, which was also leaked out. The primary advantage is AMD's Ryzen 3000 quad core series processors would hold over competing Intel i3 parts would be that their Zen 2 core architecture, which is based on the 7 nanometer process node. This process architecture offers better performance per watt and increased multi-threading performance. Intel, on the other hand, will be using a 14 nanometer process node, albeit an advanced version, to pump out higher clock speeds. But when it comes to design, all AMD Ryzen 3rd generation CPUs come with an unlocked design. Intel, on the other hand, offers only overclocking support on their K-series chips. Intel has not announced an unlocked Core i3 yet. So the Core i3 models, which are priced close to the 3rd gen AMD Ryzen 3 CPUs, are the Core i3-10100, retailing at $122 US, and the Core i3-10300, retailing at $143 US. In comparison, the Ryzen 3 3100 would retail at $99 US, and the Ryzen 3 3300X would retail at $119 US. Both AMD and Intel CPUs feature simultaneous multi-threading, so it's all about the architecture and clock speeds that these chips can churn up. The leaked overclock figure straight from Rogame has posted not only one, but four different entries into the CPUs, all reporting very impressive results. In entries, AMD's Ryzen 3 3300X was spotted with an all-core overclock of up to 4.4 gigahertz across all four cores. The CPU scored 5,472 points in 3D Mark Time Spy benchmark, which puts the slightly ahead of the Core i7-7700K, which a few years ago was a $350 chip. But wait till you see what the little Ryzen 3 3100 is able to achieve. The chip was spotted three different overclocks, one with 4.4, one with 4.5, and with an impressive 4.6 gigahertz on all cores. AMD's Ryzen 3 3100 with an overclock of 4.5 gigahertz was able to outperform the Ryzen 3 3300X with a score of 5,481 points in Time Spy Benchmark, which shows why this chip could knock out the Core i3 lineup on launch. Obviously, we have to wait for final overclocking numbers and reviews for when the CPUs launch in May, but if you're planning on building a budget PC and thinking of what to get for your next CPU, then AMD definitely has some really good options in the market with its third generation Ryzen 3 1000 series quad core chips, and even the recently refreshed first gen AF chip CPUs which hold tremendous value versus Intel's Core i3 lineup. In other news, we finally get to see Intel's graphics guys we've been up to, and buddy, it's a whopper. So we finally have our first glimpse of the absolutely mammoth MCM based XE HP GPU that Intel has been building in its labs. The package and a deliberately down resed image of the test lab were tweeted a while ago by Intel's chief architect, Raja Kaduri, along with the enigmatic Jim Keller. The term bop of all is one we've seen and heard before from Raja, so it's allowed us to quickly connect the dots. The father of all GPUs just got its first picture taken, and it's an absolute beast of a chip. Now the entire chip measures in a resounding 3,696 millimeters squared in our calculation. It's roughly one double A cell in length and roughly 53% larger than a double A cell in width. Now, this results in an estimation of 48.9 millimeters by, by 75.6 for the height and width respectively. We also calculated the usable area underneath the heat spreader, which came out to roughly 2,373 millimeters square. Now, assuming Intel isn't going to now, assuming Intel isn't going for too tight a fit, you're easily looking at the actual silicon area hitting 2,000 millimeters square mark. This is an absolutely insane and will truly be the bop of all. Now, speculation time. If we assume that Intel is using close to the full heat spreader area of 2,000 millimeters squared, and keep in mind that they could easily be far under this limit right now, we could arrive at a rough estimate of tiles, which is unclear this time how Intel's XEHP connects with Intel's Ponte Vecchio GPU. If the two are connected and or similar, then we're probably looking at either four tiles at 500 millimeters squared of eight tiles at 250 millimeters squared to achieve the maximum surface area. Again, that's speculation. Now, Ponte Vecchio is slated to arrive in 2021 and will be built on the seven nanometer process. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.